Alright, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up, build, and run your OpenCV C++ program using VS Code and CMake. So we will start off by showing you how to install CMake, install OpenCV, set up your environment variables, go over the CMakeList.txt file that you need, go over a simple OpenCV program in C++, go through the configure step, do the build and debug, build and release, and modify the program and rebuild. If you're new to my channel, I teach OpenCV, Computer Vision, Python, C++, Git, ROS2, SOLIDWORKS, Mechanical Design, and I have a GitHub that goes along with it. So subscribe to learn more. So first off, we're gonna install CMake. So we'll go to the CMake website. So when you go to the CMake website, I'm on Windows, the 64-bit. So if you go here, you'll see under the binary distribution, you see the Windows X64 installer. So go ahead and run that and install your CMake. Next up, we want to install OpenCV. So for me, I'm installing 4.8.0. So if you go to the website and click on Windows, you're going to see the exe file and go ahead and run that. So for me, I am running it in um, saving the files in the opt path. So for you, you could choose your own path. So if you go to the website here, you're going to see um, here you have the OpenCV, you have the different versions, and if you click on the window sign, the download will start. So once you download that, you're going to see you have the OpenCV folder, and this folder has your build files. You'll see you have the bin folder here and the lib folder, which will contain the necessary files that you need when you're actually running your OpenCV program. Next up, we want to set up our environment variables. So for that, you want to first, we need to set a variable called OpenCVDir, and you want to evaluate the value to the location of your build folder, which we were just at. And this is required for the specific line in our CMake list, which we'll go over in a little bit. And also you want to add these three things to your environment variables for your path. So to get to your environment variables, hit the Windows key and type system uh, environment and you can see this pop up so go to environment variables and you see i have declared my variable and value here and if you take a look at our path here you can see we have our cmake bin we have our opencv bin and our opencv lib now let's go ahead and take a look at our cmake list.txt so for this CMake list, it's a pretty simple file. So we have a CMake minimum required, and this is the minimum version that the CMake is using. You have a name of your project, which we're calling OpenCV Example. You want to find the package for OpenCV, and this right here is going to find our OpenCV package. You want to include the necessary directories here. You want to add the executable for the file that we're using, and then we want to link the OpenCV libraries with this target link libraries command. Now let's take a look at our simple program for our OpenCV program. So we have an int main, we have an image path here, which I'm calling tessa.jpg. Here I'm doing a CV read, so this will read in the image, and this is going to show the image, and this is going to be some wait key to wait for the users to press something. Now that we have our program and our CMake list.txt file, we could go ahead and run the configure step. So first thing you want to do is make the directory build. So I'm going to go ahead and run that, make directory build. So this created our build directory here. And I want to run the cmake-b and the build folder. So this will be the configure step. So what the configure step is, you can see it's building for Visual Studio 16 2019. And the selected Windows SDK version is this. So it's going through, looking through some compilers and then the build files is going to be generated into this build folder. So you can see here there's some um, solutions file, you have some um, CMake cache file, and some project files, which we will then later actually use it to build. So to build and debug, what we want to do is run this command, cmake-build.build. So if we go ahead and run this, this will build our folder. So you see this build our project in debug here. So here we have the exe file opencv example. So we could go ahead and run that now. So if I copy this command, build debug and then the exe location and run it, you see it shows the picture of the Tesla. So you have your program up and running. Now, if you want to build and release, what you want to do is run this command here, build 
uh, you want to add the special command here, config release. So if I go ahead and paste that, you see that new release folder is now showing. So this release here has a special, another exe file, which we can then run to run and release. So if I go ahead and copy paste that, then now I'm running it in release, which is supposed to be much faster. Now, if you want to modify and rebuild your program, what you want to do is um, just change the code in your main. So here, let's say I'm doing my Milky Way picture now. And then if we come back here, all we need to do is rerun the build step. So here I'm going to go ahead and rebuild. So you don't have to do the configure step again, just only the build step. So after you do the build step, you could run the exe. And then now you see we have our new file up and running. Okay, so if you found this video helpful, give a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.